Very good afternoon. You're watching the headlines with me. I'm Dipavli Hasra. SBI Chairman Rajneesh Kumar stressed that Yes Bank depositors' money is at no risk at all after the bank was put under an RBI moratorium and most people can't withdraw more than rupees 50,000. Outlining the contours of Yes Bank's rescue, Kumar said they have informed through the stock exchange that SBI board has given in principle approval of exploring the possibility of picking up a stake of up to 49% in Yes Bank. Earlier today, Yes Bank founder Rana Kapoor's home was searched by the Enforcement Directorate. Asian Ed and Media One channels, which were banned for 48 hours on Friday by the Information and Broadcasting Ministry for allegedly communally insensitive coverage of Delhi violence, are back on air. C.L. Thomas, the editor-in-chief of Media One TV, said the ban was unfortunate and condemnable and a blatant attack on free and fair reporting. He said Media One will fight legally against the action by the INB ministry. With number of coronavirus cases rising to 31 in India, Prime Minister Modi today holds a review meeting to study the impact of the outbreak in the country. Meanwhile, all schools in Jammu and Samba have been closed and biometric system of attendance has been suspended till the 31st of March. In China, the death toll has crossed 3,000 and 28 fresh cases have been reported outside Wuhan, which is the epicentre. Speaking at a media event, Prime Minister Modi said that the global economy is going through a difficult situation, but the fundamentals of the Indian economy are strong and its policies are clear. The Prime Minister also said that the government has taken measures such that the impact of the global slowdown is softened on India, and he assured that the policies are showing positive results. The NIA arrested two men on Friday, one of whom allegedly prepared bombs for the Pulwama attack last year by purchasing chemicals on Amazon. The terror attack had left 40 CRPF personnel dead on February 14 last year. 19-year-old Vaisul Islam from Srinagar and Mohammed Abbas, 32 from Pulwama, were arrested by the NIA, taking the number of those arrested in the case in the past week to five. The Lucknow administration has started putting up hoardings with names and addresses of those allegedly booked in rioting and vandalism during protests over the Citizenship Amendment Act on December the 19th. Several former IPS personnel and activists have been named in these public hoardings. The people named complained to the Indian Express of a violation of privacy and violation of their fundamental right to liberty and life. Vice-Chancellor of the Rabindra Bharti University in West Bengal reportedly submitted his resignation after a row was sparked over students of the college posing with expletives written on their bodies at an annual spring festival. It was seen as an affront to the poet Rabindranath Tagore and Bengali culture. Higher Education Minister Partha Chatterjee said he had heard about the Vice-Chancellor's resignation letter but said it will not be accepted by the government. U.S. media reported that Saudi authorities have detained three princes, including King Salman's brother and nephew, on charges of plotting a coup. This is a fresh crackdown by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and eliminates the last vestiges of potential opposition to his rule. The two Saudi royals could face lifetime imprisonment or even execution. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more.